Okay, so welcome to our first staff breath session. My name is Carla, and I'm happy you guys were able to make it. And just choosing some time to do something kind for yourselves. A lot of our job entails giving, 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 doing, 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 and stopping and doing something nice for ourselves. You know, it, it can be tough. I think it takes very special people to do the jobs that, that we do on a daily basis. So more than anything, this, the next hour, well, 55 minutes is, is like a thank you. It's giving back to you to, to try to cultivate this, the space and this time for you just to enjoy and breathe and ground because it's very common to not find time to do that. So a little bit about what breath work is. Um, if you can, I don't know if you want to use an electronic hand or your real hand or, or since it's just us, we can, can also just talk any experience with breath work. No, my first time. First time. Okay. Danny, first time. Yep. Okay, cool. All right. So then let me share just a little bit about breath work and we'll, I'll teach you what we're going to do and then we'll do it. So breath work, it's something that I learned about probably I don't know, three years ago and it really called my attention because I don't know about you guys, but I'm like super in my head about stuff and I like to figure it out and I like to understand, but what comes along with all of that is a lot of anxiety and a lot of worry and what breath work attempts to do is bring the attention into the body. And my breath work teacher says the body is the healer. When we can practice unhooking the mind and getting connected to the body, uh, we really start to find new spaces within us to relax and to connect to. That's kind of more on an emotional part. Scientifically, what we're doing is we're changing the chemistry in our body, right? We're, we're inhaling more oxygen and nitrogen. We're changing our levels of CO2, which creates a lot of relaxation. And all of this is creating more alkalinity in the body. And when the body is alkaline, it's healthier. Diseases thrive in an acidic environment. So when our bodies are alkaline, it's much less likely that we will get sick or uh, develop some sort of disease. Through this breath, there's something called the limbic system, and that's where the amygdala is. And all that means is when we're breathing, it's activating memories and emotion. And I use music to help push through emotions. So uh, I don't know how you guys are about feeling emotions, but my goal is to have you feel something today emotionally um, and connect to that because in, in the mind is where we don't really connect to emotions. So this is more um, about connecting to that, the body, to the emotions. And, oh, I wrote this note and it says breath work stops you from logically thinking about how to emotionally feel better, right? Logically, it doesn't make sense. You can't logically make yourself feel better. You actually have to practice feeling better. And we practice feeling better by connecting to the body and allowing the emotions to come through. And, and we attempt to bypass the ego, bypass the mind and go straight to the source, straight to the body. And so it can, if you've got duck emotions, things like that. The idea is to help push it through. And one of the first times, I'm not saying this is going to happen to you, but one of the first times I did breath work, I started crying because I didn't realize like how much anger and frustration my body was holding on to. It wasn't even a mental thing. It was just stored in the body. And when you give your body time to feel, sometimes things come up. So talking about things coming up, uh, there's emotional responses and physical responses that I, I want to go over before we start, just so you're aware, not necessarily meaning this is going to happen, but just if it does happen, you don't get freaked out. Um, some emotional responses can be a little intense. The idea is to 
allow your body to just release. And I've seen people cry. I've seen people laugh. I've seen people yell, whatever needs to move through this. The, the point of the session is to move energy through and have you walk away feeling refreshed and ready to go. Do your best to stay in the body uh, and not create, not try to understand why am I feeling this? Why am I crying? Just let yourself cry. You, it, there's nothing to figure out. The only thing you need to do while we're in, in the session is just breathe. That's it. Don't try to figure it out. Don't try to think about it. And the first five to seven minutes might be a little uncomfortable because the truth is we don't breathe very well. Like we usually just breathe in our chest and we're poor breathers. So what we're going to be doing is like belly breathing, which is where you breathe all the way into your diaphragm and you're letting your belly expand. So the body's kind of like, what the, what is going on here? I'm not used to all, all this stuff going on. So again, it can be a little uncomfortable, but then the body kind of gets into a rhythm. So now onto the physical, possible physical responses, really normal to yawn. Uh, if you want to like move your body um, or your body might just start kind of like wanting to move, that's totally fine. Uh, there's something called tetany, which is where the hands and the fingers, they kind of like, they call them lobster claws. So this happens pretty rare. Uh, but if it does happen, just bring your breath back to normal, shake your hands out and it goes away pretty quickly. Tightening of the lips can happen also dizziness, headache, a shift in temperature is pretty common as well. And some, some pain might happen. And if pain happens, my suggestion is just to breathe into it and think about the pain as a sensation and just let the sensation be there when it needs to be there and pass through when it's ready to pass through. So any questions or concerns about physical or emotional responses? No, all set. Okay, cool. Uh, so as far as the intention, again, my intention is just to give back what I can um, and through space, through time, through energy to support you guys and, and knowing how appreciated you are, uh, all the things that you do that probably no one even knows about. Um, I know, I don't, I don't know you personally, T, but I've, I've heard about things that you've done. And I do know Danny and I know for sure Danny goes above and beyond. And so, you know, we just at, at CBH, you know, just really wanting to create a culture where people know they're appreciated. Like we know, I know for sure that you guys go through a lot of BS sometimes <laughs> and you still show up the next day with a positive attitude. And, you know, that's rare. Not a lot of people are willing to do what you guys are doing. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you are comfortable um, and you don't have to, because I want you guys to be comfortable. If you want to keep your cameras off, fine. But I just want to, I like to invite you to turn on the camera just to make sure that like you didn't pass out, <laughs> that you're still breathing. But if you're not comfortable, that's, that's okay too. You can keep your cameras off. Um, I'm going to play some music. My suggestion is also, if you're able, you can do this lying down or sitting down. Lying down is going to give you like a, a more profound experience. But if you're not able to lie down, you can sit down. Putting in headphones is also a great idea. Um, it just kind of gets you centered and in the moment. And I usually personally like to journal afterwards. So having something you can write on, because sometimes things, feelings, ideas, realizations come up and it's a good idea just to jot them down. So if that seems like something that you'd like to do, just taking a moment and gathering any supplies, having a blanket is also a good idea because of the temperature changes. I usually get really cold when I do breath work. So if uh, there aren't any more questions, oh, I need to tell you guys our breathing pattern. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do three different things. They're very similar, but they're they're subtly different. 
the main thing, like I was saying, is breathing into the belly. So if you can just go ahead and practice taking a deep breath in through the nose, all the way into the belly, and then out through the mouth. Deep breath in through the nose, and out through the mouth. So that's like the basic. We're gonna do some of those pretty slow, like a slow, gentle inhale, slow, gentle exhale through the mouth, always in through the nose, out through the mouth. And then I'm gonna switch it to a powerful inhale through the nose and a really, really gentle exhale through the mouth. It's like you just let the breath fall out. And then the most intense one, it's gonna be two breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. So you can just practice a few times. I'm already getting a little dizzy, so that's normal. And we're gonna do that for an elongated period of time. And then I'm gonna invite you into a bottom hold, which is where you exhale and hold your breath on empty at the bottom. And when that happens, usually, what I feel and a lot of people report is there's just like the stillness. It's just like emptiness. Some might call it peace, which I don't know how familiar you are with it. I'm half joking because of our jobs. Um, but connecting to that and just enjoying what that feels like. And then towards the end, I'm going to have you guys do a sigh breath. And that's inhaling through the nose. And on the exhale, it's... Ah, like letting it go, intentionally releasing stress, frustration, annoyance, whatever you might be carrying with you from today, from yesterday, from last week, from last month, whatever you got going on and, and really intentionally choosing to let it go. All right, so I'm going to, if there's nothing else, I'm gonna just mute everybody. Obviously, if you need to, um, if you need anything, unmute yourselves. I will be here the whole time and oh, I'm going to play music, but I want to make sure you guys can hear it. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. If you can just unmute yourself for a moment and let me know if it's loud enough. It's great. It's great. Okay, great. All right. So. Getting into a comfortable position and settling in and just starting to breathe in through the nose and exhale through the mouth and allow yourself to just settle into this moment, land here, be here and taking the next several moments to just be, to relax, to enjoy, and to let go. Gentle breath in through the nose, gentle exhale out through the mouth, circulating the breath. The only thing you need to do is just remain connected to the breath, inviting your mind to unhook and just breathe and let it go. In through the nose, out through the mouth. And as you continue breathing, just start to notice your body. Start to notice the space around you. And notice how the space around you is hugging your body. And notice your weight pressing down on the floor, the chair, wherever you are. Noticing the heaviness of the body and the effect of gravity on the body. And allowing yourself to be, feel held and supported by the surface under you. 
creating safety in the body sometimes takes a little bit of effort. So just feeling at home in your body, feeling safe in this moment. Continue to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Now bringing your awareness to the top of your head, down through your forehead, and noticing if you can allow your eyes to be perfectly still. Connected to this exact moment. And as your eyes are still moving your attention to your nose, Inhaling, noticing that the air is a little cooler on the inhale. Exhaling through the mouth. Relaxing the jaw, the neck, the shoulders. Bringing your attention down through both of your arms and having the experience of being inside your body. Not in your mind, but literally in your body. Feeling grounded, supported, and connected. Inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the mouth. and keeping that breath going, dropping down into the chest and the upper back, perhaps connecting to the heart. And a sense of compassion and care that I know lives within you. And being grateful to have the ability to feel that and to be that and to practice that. And allow your heart energy to soften and open as you bring your awareness down through your torso and your lower back. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Feeling relaxed, letting go of any tension asking any tightness or tension to release as you continue to scan down through your hips, into your legs, feeling that breath reaching every single cell of your body from the top of your head all the way down through your torso into your legs, traveling all the way down through your feet Letting your breath light your entire body up. Feeling alive, connected, and present in your body. And noticing how your heart, your lungs, your chest, all work effortlessly in harmony to support you. Breathing consciously is about living consciously, living intentionally. So we're gonna start another breath, which is gonna be a powerful inhale through the nose. And on the exhale, you're gonna just let it fall out without trying to push it or force it through. Powerful breath in through the nose. And a gentle, gentle exhale and release out through the mouth. And part of what this breath teaches us is that it can be easy to let go. Effortlessly letting the breath go, teaching the body you can let the stress go easily, the frustration go easily, the confusion, the distractions. Intentional, powerful breath in through the nose, and gentle, gentle exhale out through the mouth. 
just letting it fall out. And once you reach the bottom, another breath in through the nose. And gentle, gentle exhale through the mouth. And taking time to allow your body to get used to breathing this way. And trusting that the body knows what to do and can move the energy through, can move the breath through. Powerful breath in through the nose. Gentle, gentle exhale. Letting everything slow down, really making it a point to connect to the body, letting the mind unhook, releasing any distractions. Powerful breath in. Letting the body completely relax as the energy of the breath helps to loosen up, move through and release any stuck energy And just keep breathing. We're gonna breathe like this for one more minute and then we're gonna do our first bottom hold. So just do your best to keep moving that energy through. Gentle, gentle exhale, letting things go letting them slide right out and connecting to that part of you that is powerful, that is peaceful, breathing from there and releasing anything that is not that. Powerful inhale through the nose, Letting it go. And on your next exhale, you're gonna let it go and hold your breath at the bottom. Relax into the bottom hold, holding the breath, relaxing the body moving the body if that helps, trusting the breath, trusting the body. It's been about 30 seconds since you've been holding your breath. If you can continue to hold it, keep holding the breath, keep relaxing more deeply into that stillness. If you need to breathe, obviously please inhale but if you're able to keep holding you're about to make it to one minute if you're still holding congratulations and also please inhale and we're gonna go now to powerful breath in through the nose powerful exhale through the mouth. If that's too fast, slow down, but try to keep your breath deep. Taking deep, full breaths in through the nose and consciously pushing the breath out through the mouth.
Allow the energy to activate, release, and move things through. If you're feeling a little dizzy or a lot dizzy, you can slow the breath down a little bit, but mostly just trust the body. Let the mind stay unhooked. All you're doing is just breathing and practicing, connecting and staying connected to the body. Feeling safe in the body, feeling relaxed in the body. Continuing with that breath. Allowing your belly to rise and consciously pushing the air out. And we're gonna move into a little more powerful breath. It's gonna be two breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. We're gonna do this for about two minutes and then try a top hold where you inhale and hold your breath at the top. So let's go for it. I want you to start activating energy in the body. So two breaths in. Breathe into the belly, into the chest, out through the mouth. Allow yourself to keep that breath going, connecting to your power. Deep breath in through the nose two times and exhaling through the mouth. Allow yourself to really start feeling the energy moving through the body. Allow that breath to get deeper and quicker if that feels comfortable. Two breaths in through the nose. Ten more seconds, move that energy, create that feeling of energy and aliveness and feeling empowered in your body. And take a deep breath in through the nose. Hold the breath at the top. Hold the breath. Allow your whole body to relax. Keep holding the breath. And taking a moment to remember that we're part of a team and that we can't do this alone and that we are here for each other. And maybe imagine people on your team I am on your side. reminding you that we are all on the same side, on the same team. I am on your side. Holding the breath, if you can continue holding it, letting it go when you feel ready. I am on your side. Allowing the emotionality to touch you. I am on your side. A reminder you are not alone I am on your and you have a team to protect you and support you. So moving into a gentle breath, gently inhaling through the nose, and this time, just gently exhaling through the mouth. 
giving your time, giving yourself time to keep feeling, feeling into the body with the mind unhooked. Connecting to that stillness and that gratitude that we have for each other. And just letting the body relax. And even when things are hectic and overwhelming, we can still find moments of peace, connectedness, support. Allow yourself to connect to your heart, to the compassion that exists within your heart. knowing you have an entire team of people that see you, that care about you. And as you continue relaxing, letting the breath go and letting the body breathe, however the body chooses to breathe. Perhaps it's in and out through the nose, in and out through the mouth, and taking some time to share a moment of thank you for all the time, all the effort, all the struggles. And please open your heart and allow yourself to feel appreciated, feel supported. The work that you've chosen to do is not easy. Thank you for your kindness, for your selflessness, for your generosity, for all the time, all the effort. There might even be blood, sweat, and tears that have come along with the job. Staff, thanks you. Clients, thank you. Don't know how you keep giving day after day. It takes a special person to do your job. Allowing your body to feel what it's like to receive the gratitude and really letting yourself feel it. Let it land, make a difference in people's lives every day. 
Thank you for making the world a better place, a safer place, a kinder place. Let it in. So many people are so grateful for you. I promise you, I know it's true. I've heard it. I've seen it. And going into the last song, Allowing yourself to start moving your body a bit, maybe starting to stretch, or maybe just staying still for a bit longer. And allowing yourself to just keep connecting to that sense of gratitude. Feeling grateful for the type of person that you are, knowing that you literally make this world a better place. All the love, the care, compassion that you give, like the song says, the strongest medicine, and you give it and give it and give it. So as you continue to move the body, just feeling grounded, coming back into the room, being aware of your body. And if it feels comfortable, you feel called to bring your hands to your heart. And thank you for giving so much, but now it's just time to give back to you and be grateful for the person that you are. Be grateful for being able to take this time to give back to yourself. Breathing into your heart, letting that love, that care and compassion travel throughout your whole body. And we're gonna end with three side breaths, which is taking a deep breath in through the nose and on the exhale, sighing it out. Taking a deep breath in and letting it go. <sighs> deep breath in through the nose. <sighs> and last time, Exhale, maybe bringing the arms up and stretching. Moving the head around, moving the body around. And coming back up to a seated position if you were lying down. If you are seated, slowly opening up your eyes. And if you want to take some time to write down anything, this would be a good time to do that. I'm going to stop the recording in a moment, but I'm going to close that out and then I'm going to check in with the people that are here. Um, thank you for joining. Thank you for giving yourself time to do something kind for yourself because you probably do more kind things for others than you do for yourself. So please do your best to keep taking care of yourself, keep creating spaces 
to connect to yourself, to know you're supported. Uh, I really want to encourage all of us to, to be more conscientious about creating a team atmosphere. I think we do a really great job. And I always feel there's room for improvement, right? So checking in with each other. We're all human beings having human experiences. And when work isn't going well and then life isn't going well, it can be really overwhelming. So let's just check in with each other whenever we see each other. Thank you for taking the time and feel free to rewind and watch this whenever you need it.